Hello everyone and um, welcome back to another plan with me and thank you for joining me. Um, I have got my absolute little angel um, sat next to me at the moment um, all curled up in her bed um, so you'll have to excuse me if once again I know I feel like most of my videos my voice is really quiet but I'm really sorry if that's really annoying but if I talk really loud she will end up looking at me and think that I'm talking to her so I'm just trying to be as cautious as I can while she's settling in. Um, we only picked her up. Ooh. Uh, five days ago um, and in some ways she's settling in amazingly sorry my little princess that I referred to is uh, my new puppy by the way um, she's called Wendy um, she is yeah in a lot of ways settling in really well she's taken to her crate really well and absolutely loves sleeping in there um, she did from the first night we did all the you know the usual stuff with mum's blanket and all that and we're just really cautious about um, how often to sort of leave her um, on her own but um yeah, so she's doing really well in that. And once she settles at night, she was doing so well at just, you know, settling down in there um, and just getting up and wandering the kitchen if she needs to. We don't really um, know what she gets up to in the middle of the night, but she is she is calm once, once she's settled. Um, but in other ways, she is stressing out and I am stressing out. Um, so yeah, real mixed bag at the moment, but she is such a little angel and... I'm so happy this is finally happening. She, you know, poor little thing has no idea that she's made dreams come true. It's been a lifelong dream of mine to have a dog. I didn't think we were going to get a puppy, um, but here we are. She's a little whippet um, and she's just beautiful. I, I, at the end of the video, I'll try and um, put in the uh, uh, pictures of her if I can. Um, so this week... Um, was just the so we only found out we were going to get her a couple of weeks before we actually picked her up and we picked her up on the Sunday of this week so all of this week um, I was sort of prepping as much as I can picking up orders for her and all that sort of stuff um, and yeah just getting everything as prepped as I could really um, I sorry I haven't said anything about the kids I went straight in with the dog I'm just I'm obsessed with her I have to say I'm having to be really careful not to accidentally get her super duper attached to me because I just want to be around her and cuddle her all of the time she's oh she's just so cute um sorry the kit itself for this week is from crafts crafts by Tawi. um I think it's just called home um and I'm obsessed I I love how all of this came out I don't usually like kits that have such basic colors so it's just a two-tone kit really well no you've got the green as well but in terms of all the boxes and the headers and um it's pretty much just purple and gray and i i wasn't sure i was going to love how it came out but actually i think it's a really clean looking spread um and i like that it's not fussy it just looks neat and tidy um i used the little calendars that she does i'm absolutely obsessed with them i used that to mark the month um, with another sticker from the kit and then some deco and I love how that came out I'm happy that I did that I'd wanted to do that for a while with her kit uh, with her kits sorry and then I've marked in the sidebar um, I think I came back and did that later so you won't see it now um, but I realized that I wanted to mark that it was the week we were picking up Wendy so um, I wanted to to wait until we had her before I started marking all of the stuff for her actually being here um, so that's why I didn't do it at the start um so let's have a look so for the top again um i don't actually love what i did at the top but it's fine it doesn't take away from the kit i just draped a load of um garlands along the top in the color of the kit I actually managed to match the color of the kit to the foil this time it's a single foil kit which is great <laughs> um sorry single foil spread not single foil kit <laughs> Um, and then again, um, all of the icons are from Crafts by Tawi, Miss and Meow, and White Deer Stationery. Apart from, there's one sticker from um, F uh, Fox and Pip, and that is just the picture of us as a couple. So, sorry, the sticker of us as a couple, even. Um, so that is why, sorry, that's the only one that's uh, different to the usual. Um, it was a good week last week I my days now are going very fast but also going very painfully slowly so I'm I'm losing track of time I can't believe it's already Thursday um I've already forgotten everything that I did last week so it's good that I've got spread in front of me because I actually wouldn't be able to just reel off what on earth I did because it feels like a million years ago and also doesn't feel like it happened at all because it was like a lifetime ago 
Um, it is mental. If anyone out there has had or has a puppy, you will know how your whole world, I, uh, your whole world just goes crazy. It's like this constant panic of what's she doing? Is she okay? Does she need this? Does she need that? Does she need the other? Um, has she had enough exercise and all this stuff? It's just so, <laughs> so much. Um, I am loving it and this is what I wanted and I knew it was going to be complicated. I didn't expect to be so emotional about everything. I cry at everything. I cry many times a day um, just in pain and anxiety and fear that I'm doing things wrong. Um, so if I sound at all um, sort of sad or depressed, uh, I'm not at all. I'm just really worried about um, making sure I do the best for her. I, there's a lot of pressure I'm feeling on myself to for her to be happy. Anyway, um, so on the Monday I had, sorry if I sound any different, um, my mum just called to check in on how everything's going purely because of the emotional breakdowns. She's just checking in regularly, making sure I'm okay. Um, sorry, so yeah, I had contact lens check. Of course, my eyesight's got worse. It does every now and again. I am short-sighted. Oh, she's having a little roll around in her bed. Um, so yeah, they got in some trial lenses for me. I'm going to have to do it at some point. Um, I am loving these bubble bath stickers from Paper Trail Plans. Um, I cannot wait when they reopen the custom order things on whatever date it is in February I'm going to order a ton of them I cannot wait um so then uh, a lot of sleep on Tuesday I think it was I felt quite unwell so I just absolutely crashed um didn't even eat dinner or anything I just slept all evening um then on Wednesday we went for a game night um at one of our friends house houses sorry um one of my colleagues' dogs was in the office and I always love her coming into the office. She's such a little cutie. Um, and then we were just up talking all night just about everything that was about to change, everything that was about to happen with the dog, everything we needed to be prepared for. Um, and then I had a very early night. Um, then on Thursday, uh, we caught up on the book of Boba Fett. Um, I painted my nails and I just was watching video after video after video of puppy training videos um, and annoyingly there's a lot of conflicting advice so it's sort of a choose a path forward and and stick with it sort of thing um so yeah I've, I've found that quite stressful because it's really hard to know if what you're doing is going to work in the long run I'm sorry she's just having a little drink of water behind me apologies if you can hear that I'm probably gonna have to stop recording in a minute because she will probably be vying for my attention um yeah so as you can see, not a whole lot happened on, on all of these days anyway. Um, then on Friday, I actually worked from home. Um, it was one of my colleagues' last days and a lot of people were going in and I really did not want to catch anything before um, picking up the dog. So I deliberately stayed home. We had the option of, of going in or, or staying home, but it was his last day. Um, and then I tried to install um, a privacy window film and I did not do a good job, like just being honest it does not look good so I think we're going to end up removing it it's really difficult to get all the bubbles out and make it look good so I think that's a, a no on the window film um, and then I actually managed to catch the second half of my friend's engagement party because um, my shift finished early so that was really nice um, I didn't know engagement parties were a thing I thought you know you got engaged people say congratulations and then the wedding is the big party um but they had an engagement party so um i went to uh show my face since my shift finished early it was a really nice thing to do and just sort of say congratulations um i was exhausted after after working my shift so i didn't stay very long but um yeah it was it was a nice friday evening um then on saturday um i met up with two of my best friends and we went for a walk she is now moving her dog Bob. I don't know if you can hear that in the background. Um, we did a really long walk. It must have been about two hours in the end. Um, and it was rainy and muddy and all those wonderful things that a dog would have loved. Um, and we just had a really lovely catch up just about everything that's been going on. Everything with work, um, with life, stuff that's ha due to happen soon, that sort of thing. Um, and it did me so good. I was aching in the days after because... I'm just not used to walking that length of walk, but it was lush. Um, and then she did get us some lunch as well. We all had lunch together at her house. 
Um, and it was just a really lovely morning. Sorry, I just realised I've got really far ahead of myself. I'm just currently moving around all of my stickers and figuring out what I want to do with them because I knew I wanted to use that little purple label box. Um, but I didn't know how. <laughs> um, as you can see, once again, I've used all of the half scallop circles, of course. Sorry, scallop half circles from the kit because I am obsessed with them. This isn't her newest format, so there weren't any full circles, but this these were the purple scallop circles on the second sheet. Um, I'm obsessed with those wellies from White Day Stationery, like obsessed. I will use them any opportunity that I have. Um, I think they are absolutely gorgeous um, and I have stocked up on those. Um, right, sorry, I'm just trying to catch up with myself as where well. I'm marking lunch. Then I marked yet another bubble bath. I really liked how I marked both of my baths in this spread. I thought it was really, really nice. Um, I can already tell that a bath is not something I'm going to be able to enjoy anymore with a puppy. It's going to have to be the quickest two minute shower before she starts screaming for me to come downstairs. Um, and then actually I started and I finished listening to um, an audio book of uh, Agatha Christie's The 13 Problems. Um, I've been doing that while I'm doing my delivery driving shifts. Rather than listening to music, I've been listening to audio books. Um, and it was just really nice to to get my teeth stuck into that one because I'd never finished it. I'd started it many, many times as an actual physical book. So I took this opportunity to move through it and it was really nice to finish it. Um, so then on Sunday I had a lie-in. We did another quite intense clean of the house just to make sure everything was prepared and she couldn't eat anything off the floor that could do her harm. Um, I went to collect an order of something that we'd not ended up keeping anyway because it didn't do uh, what we wanted it to do. And then today was the big day. My friend came and picked me up from home. Um, I really thought I was gonna cry and be really you know, emotional about the whole thing. So she agreed that she would drive, she loves dogs. Um, and that, you know, then if I needed to cry out or I was feeling anxious or whatever, that, you know, she'd be driving and I wouldn't have to be in control of a vehicle. Um, so that was really lovely. She came with me, the puppies were so over excitable um, and it was quite a sad journey home she was obviously immediately missing them which is understandable um so yeah then she was home we picked her up at about three um and it's just been mental ever since um any advice on looking after puppies would be very much welcome uh, if any of you have them <laughs> thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one